October was drier and warmer than normal across most of the southern interior, but be prepared for a shift this winter. We're starting to see the La Nina raise its head, if I can put it that way. You know, we've been talking about La Nina coming for quite a while, and we're beginning to see a little bit of the effects. We're starting to see an increasing snowpack at mid elevations uh, out there. So it's and the long range models are now hinting that La Nina is going to continue to develop as we move through November into December. So I really think we're sort of trending into a sort of a, a more La Nina like winter, maybe not severe La Nina, but a La Nina like winter. So definitely seeing a trend towards maybe some cooler temperatures and definitely some more precipitation potential. The prospect of more snow is being welcomed by area ski hills, including Big White, which had to significantly delay opening day last year. We know it rains in Vancouver, and then when it's raining in Vancouver, it's snowing that Okanagan Champagne powder here at Big White Ski Resort. So we're really excited about that. We think it's going to be a great year. We've done a lot of summer grooming so we can get on the slopes early. Last month, the mean monthly temperature across much of the southern interior was one and a half to two degrees above normal. It was also drier than typical in Kelowna, Penticton and Kamloops, but Vernon, the North Okanagan and Shuswap were wetter than normal. For Castanet News, I'm Cindy White.